Three Al Jazeera journalists have been arrested. Yes, you heard me correctly. Al Jazeera journalists for flying drones in an illegal drone section of Paris. While there is not yet a connection, the arrests come just a day after Paris police were looking for culprits behind some mysterious drones flying over Paris landmarks recently, like the Eiffel Tower and the U.S. Embassy, the past two nights. This scare is occurring just after the U.S. had its own drone scare when a drunken off-duty federal employee crashed a drone on the White House lawn. Okay, this is all very bad news for anybody trying to do legitimate drone business. Where do all these security worries leave the drone debate? Joining me now, Precision Hawk co-founder and president Ernest Iron, And you guys are really actually one of the very few approved to fly drones and you're using your drone software over European nations, some of them. Not France, am I yep. correct? That's correct. Yep. So nobody should be flying drones over Paris. Uh, certainly not over the areas that uh, these UAVs have been sighted. You're right. Okay, so what the heck is Al Jazeera doing? I mean, they already know that they're being watched carefully from both Middle Eastern countries that had imprisoned some of their own journalists to what's going on here in the United States with all the worries. What do you think is happening here? I'm not sure. I mean, any time that there is, you know, irresponsible use uh, or inappropriate use like this, I mean, it's very concerning uh, for a lot of reasons. One, it overshadows in the public mind all the good news stories that we're all you know, trying so hard to, to push forward. And you know, let's face it, if we've got you know, amateur or enthusiast, or in this case, you know, network people uh, operating these drones over you know, busy metropolitan areas, there's a risk. And especially when you know it's illegal, coming just 48 hours after Paris was already uh, looking up and seeing some of these drones that are flying over, this in the wake of the murders of more than a dozen people in the Charlie Hebdo uh, magazine and the uh, it's just a horrible situation but let's talk about the biggest worries here that that hurt your legitimate business people are worried of an attack or perhaps drones carrying bombs or weapons of some sort how do you dispel that notion when you're trying to do very quality business with your drones and your drone software well i mean when we're talking about you know drones that are small enough to operate you know quietly and launch quietly in a in a major metropolitan center like Paris, uh, they're not going to be carrying much in the way of, of dangerous goods just because they're, they're too small. Uh, but that said, you know, one of the things that we're really pushing forward is, as I said, you know, the, the good use cases, the responsible use cases, and as well as working on developing systems so that there's that visibility between all the airspace users. So the regulators, the UAV operators, the manned aviation, the pilots, so that everybody has you know, good visibility and awareness of what's happening and what's, what's the appropriate thing to do. Well, how did you get approval? That's what I want to know. It's not easy, right? No, it's not. Um, it's, it, it, it takes some time to demonstrate to the regulators that you know what you're doing, you're doing you know, the responsible thing, and you've got the procedures and policies and above all, safety in mind uh, when you are going to be operating. And, and because that's what it boils down to. It's, it's safety, safety above all. Yeah, safety above all. And, and maybe perhaps uh, this is going to push, and I'm sure you'll, you'll be annoyed and roll your eyes, but maybe it's going to force anybody who wants to operate drones to have some sort of kill switch. Has that been discussed where law enforcement would be able to somehow operate a switch that would kill any drone that was up there? There has been talk about that. Uh, one of the things, as I said, the system that, that we're working on, what it'll do is it'll allow uh, you know, regulators, uh, authorities, even um, private citizens to be able to, to set up areas which would, we would call no-fly zones. And the idea is that eventually these drones are physically unable to breach these zones. The, the, the technology is designed such that these modules that you put on top tell it you can't fly there, and then the drones can't fly there. And that's certainly the way we'd like to go. That's the way you'd like to go. What are your drones used for? Uh, our drones are, are primarily used for agriculture. Mm -hmm. um, that's where most of our business is. We also have uh, a great number of, of operations in oil and gas exploration and general surveying. Okay, and, and you're going to be annoyed that I'm bringing this up too, but uh, you know, one of the things that Warren Buffett told me he's most worried about when it comes to ISIS and the terrorists is biochemical bombs. He feels that nuclear is way harder to develop. Obviously, we've seen the Iranians working very hard to do that. It's taken years. But if you could somehow put together you know, smallpox or something, these guys can put these things on there, and I'm thinking to myself, 
Why the heck would Al Jazeera have ever even engaged in something that involved even the whiff of, of fooling around with a drone over a major metropolitan city? Yes, I mean, this, this, this clearly smacks of, of completely inappropriate, unsafe, and a very unreasonable use, and I don't know what, what they were thinking. Well, it's great to have you, and you, it should be stressed, and your team have been working to do legitimate work with drones. Thanks so much, Ernest. Good to see you again. It's great to be on, Liz. Ernest Aron is Precision Hawk co-founder and president, one of the very few companies that has shown it is able and knows how to do it safely when it comes to flying drones over Europe. Closing bell, we're 40 minutes away. It's one of the biggest debates on Wall Street right now.